And welcome back to another episode of Emily's Bloody Internal Monologue. I was messaging a friend of mine the other day, an ADHD friend, and we're just having casual conversation. And in the casual conversation, they were like, hey, do you want to see a picture of the random axe that I bought that I've never used? And I'm like, I absolutely do want to see this random axe that you've bought, probably while you were doom scrolling when you should have been doing the dishes. And all I could sit there and think was, this is the fucking reason why when the apocalypse comes... I will be finding the nearest group of diagnosed or undiagnosed ADHDs. Unmedicated, even better. We're a group of people who fucking love novelty, and that's going to help us in this situation. We need to grow our own food. Susan probably went through like a two-month novelty where she was an absolute green thumb and never picked up a fucking shovel again. But you know what? She's got the information stored there. Nightwatch. Nightwatch is never going to be an issue. We've all got raging insomnia. Somebody will be able to stay up to all our Task paralysis? No, that will be a thing of the past. Nothing screams sense of urgency more than an apocalypse. Need a bloody boat, a weapon built, shelter built with a bunch of zombies chasing you? That activate hyper focus for us that shit will be done in like two seconds flat oh zombies zombies no don't worry about zombies we have that much adhd rage stored up the zombies will be scared of us i have seen my adhd child fashion a weapon out of nothing in the middle of adhd rage the apocalypse is a stressful situation but i think we'll be right because nobody does dissociation better than an adhd so if you're an ADHD and you're getting really frustrated that you're living in a world that you feel like you just don't belong in, babe, let me tell you, our time is coming. It's coming. It's just not here yet. It's the apocalypse, the purge, or the fucking Hunger Games.